you guys have been talking about how hard Mateus Laced has been to get around, and Aaron may be giving him a hard time trying to get that lead. The team just came over the radio and said, we need you to go lower in one and three as you see Aaron Tielitz make a pass for the lead, Kevin. Side by side, Tielitz in the sole red car to the outside. The blue car on the low line is Laced, who has dominated this race so far. Tielitz is trying to get to the front, can't quite get it done, and Laced hangs on to the lead in Indianapolis. But now Aaron Tielitz needs to suck up and go up to the high side again, keep it absolutely pinned on the high side here. This could be de the determining the winner here. He can't quite get it done around the up the outside here, but I think he might be able to get it lined up through turn four. Laced manages to maintain the advantage and then gaps it by three car lengths. Tielitz went after it and that's opened up the door for Dalton Kellett in third, running side by side for second down the main straightaway. Yeah, it seems when anyone gets side by side with Least, Least just seems to keep the momentum up and get back past them. That's the problem. Usually you slipstream and then it's easy to, easy to pull out and get ahead, but that's not happening when people are running up on Least. And listen to the crowd reacting to Dalton oh. Kellett getting to second around Aaron Tielitz. Albarico in the blue car in fourth is lurking, and Santi Arrutia has grabbed that fifth position. Still at least five in play in the Freedom 100, more than five laps remaining. Aaron Tielitz has lost all sorts of momentum, so I'm wondering if his tires have fallen off here. He looks like he's got nothing left in the bag whatsoever. Arutia working on Albarico. Albarico goes down near the pit wall divider to defend, and Arutia will still manage to squeak his way through on the inside. Can he make it stick side by side for fourth? And Arutia grabs the spot. Maybe this is all planned out here for Santi Arutia. Maybe Santi Arutia has hung back this entire time, saving his Cooper tires on this car. He's a rocket ship on the track at the moment. From 12th to 4th, it's been a nightmare season for the driver that was a lap away from winning the championship and the Mazda scholarship to get to IndyCar last year. Can this be the breakthrough for Santi Arutia? Still a lot of work to do. He's running fourth. Tielitz in third. Kellett in second. Lace, the leader. There's Kellett in that aqua blue car. Second place with Tielitz trying to work on him once again. See, Tielitz is going to be frustrated right now because he's feeling like Dalton Kellett should be pushing Mateus Laced into making a mistake here. He's got to show his wing upside, downside. He's got to show his wing absolutely everywhere to stress Mateus Laced because I think on outright pace alone, they're not going to beat the blue car of Mateus Laced today. He's led every lap from pole. Santi Arrutia just set the fastest lap at over 170, 97 miles per hour as Tielitz takes a little look on Kellett. Can't get him there. And this is perfect here for Santi Arrutia. Every time Aaron Tielitz moves around like that, he loses a little bit of momentum, and that gives Santi Aruti a run. Beautifully done here for Santi Aruti to hang on. Faster that time by over 198 for Aruti. The happiest driver in the track right now, Mateus Lace. Let everyone behind him fight, work, scrub, run their tires down. He is someone who's looking in his mirrors and thankful oh, that Fulton the jousting. Wall. Contact, we think, in the back. We stay green for the moment. Ed, you saw something. There's a oh. that slapped it. But in the corner before, it was Neil Alberico yeah. that hit the wall, and that was a big impact with the wall as well. He keeps going, but uh, yeah, does not opt to, to go into the pits. But both these cars now, in the matter of two corners, and yes, Santi Arrutia with big damage in that gold car. Will we stay green as we head to two to go? Now it is a three-car fight up front. Tielitz in third in the sole red car. Kellett in second in the aqua blue car. And up front, it's Mateus Lace, who's led every lap in his first oval start ever. And at this point in time, Mateus Lace is just going to be looking down, making sure he hits every mark. Just give your opponents a little bit of dirty air in the middle of each corner. Pay attention to your mirrors. See exactly where the other cars are placing themselves. Figure out where do I need my bars for turn one and turn two? Where do I need my bars for turn three and turn four? Looking great so far. Brazilians have a fantastic history at this racetrack in the Indianapolis 500. Can Mateus Lace become the latest winner at Indy. He's led every lap, but can he lead the big one? We are coming down to it. Main straightaway.
Three cars still in the mix, and the white flag in Indianapolis. Who's going to win the Freedom 100? One final chance here for Dalton Kelly to line up around. You see him all the way down on the apron on those rumble strips. That's where the car gets oh so free and so difficult to control. But Dalton Kelly's going to just hang it out here and see what happens. Does he have enough? Tealitz is not quite close enough. Kellett's got the back half of the back stretch to make a move. Laced by three or four car lengths on the north end of the track. Seems to be in control. Final turns for Mateus Laced through four. Back on the main straight. Nobody's going to catch him. Mateus Laced dominates from pole and wins his first oval race. And it's at the most famous race course in the world. Mateus Laced has won the Freedom 100, his first win in Indy Lights. Mateus Laced and Carlin Racing, you guys have done it from being rookies to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway two years ago to now being winners in the Freedom 100. Boy, what a job. And while Laced wins, Aaron Tielitz got the move made to finish seconds, getting past Dalton Kellett. Let's go back and look behind the leader. Kellett tried to defend. <laughs> And a drag race to the line for second. And Tealitz got him by about a quarter of a car length. And that was all because Dalton Kellett went for went all out on the final corner, went all the way down to the apron, lost some momentum. And then Aaron Tealitz had his shot. But Mateus laced, man. What a performance.